Hey everybody, uh, thanks for watching our quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the write-on effect. Um, I know this one's kind of crappy. This is what it's going to look like, but it looks better when it's a handwritten font. But I made Helvetica just because I wanted it to be fast for you guys. Okay, so first things first, uh, text on background. Go over to your effects panel and write write-on. and Drag it onto your text and it'll come up with this. Uh, first thing you do is you select your brush color, just make it anything that's not your background or your text color. I chose green. Um, go ahead and put your starting position where you want your brush stroke to start and raise it up so that it's a little bit bigger or maybe just as big as your uh, just as big as your font is. Um, go ahead and start on the first keyframe and click the stopwatch for the position. Uh, move a couple keyframes and drag your position down a little bit and you just kind of keep doing that you keep moving a couple keyframes and you keep dragging your position and basically writing what you want to say um, you can do this by clicking the page down key we'll move a couple keyframes ahead uh, depending on how your settings are I'm going to go ahead and speed this up because it takes a little bit but uh, as you can see I'm just kind of cranking through this real quick yeah, it looks a lot better if it's faster and if you use a font that actually looks like handwriting, obviously, but I'll let you guys do that. I just wanted to do this really quick. Alright, so then I finished, and when you push play, you'll see my little green guy go across and go over all these. That's all cool, but I want them to disappear, and I want to show the text actually appearing. So I go up here, and I click Reveal Text, and voila, it reveals my text. So pretty standard, pretty basic. Uh, hope you guys like this. I hope it helps you out with your future projects and uh, thanks for watching.